and simulate just by clicking on the on button there to the right. Now one CNC also supports fixturing and tooling. Here I brought in a vise, a stop, and some parallels. All that geometry is going to show up within preview. So there you go. There's the part. There's the toolpath preview, and you can see all the fixturing as well. This can be sped up or slowed down, and of course you can zoom in and zoom out. You also have the ability to make your tooling and holders translucent or completely hide them just by simply clicking on those buttons to the left. Okay, so now let's take a look at Simulate. Simulate is going to show us the actual stock being removed. But more important, Simulate has the ability to also show you the really important parts of your fixturing. Notice how I also have the jaws, the parallels, and the stop. If there was any type of collision there, one CNC would stop and warn us and alert us of that collision. You also have the ability, just like within Preview, to make your tooling and holders translucent or completely hidden if you want just by simply clicking. There's our new backplot, so you can backplot the toolpath right on top of the model within Simulate now. Very, very nice. Let's take this a step further. We're going to head into Simulate now. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our stock solid model along with all the important tooling. There's our clamps, there's our solid model, and there's the washer and the bolt in the center as well. Now what I'm doing on the left is I'm activating the show rapid collisions and show shank and holder collisions. What this is going to do is warn us if that tool happens to rapid through any tooling or if there isn't enough shank distance to properly machine a part. Now here you can see the simulation stopped. We have a warning on the left that says rapid collision detected. And you can see we just didn't have enough clearance to get across that bolt there. So we can easily go back in the NC manager, head over to clearances. I'm going to change our rapid Z plane to one inch. You can see that dynamically updates there. It's very nice. We'll click finish. Let one CNC regenerate the toolpath. And now let's quickly go back into simulate. That looks good. We'll click OK. And there's the simulation now. So with the powerful rapid collisions and show shank and holder collisions, you have all the tools necessary to catch if that tool happens to rapid through any fixturing or if you don't have enough flute length to get the job done. It's very, very powerful and efficient. OK. Now let's bring the rest of the parts and the fixtures up. So I'm going to turn this layer on. And let's go to our preview toolpaths. So preview toolpaths. And notice how one CNC is going to machine each part with that particular tool. And then when that's finished, it'll change tools and then again machine each part. Now with one CNC, we can take it a step further. If we go into simulate, we can take a look at all of our stock models and all of the important fixturing to also collision check for this. So remember, we just machined one part. Then we went into our multiple parts tab, told it how many parts we wanted to machine. And at that point, one CNC takes over. We can collision check. We can go into preview or we can go into simulate. It's very, very quick, effective, and very, very efficient. Now let's take this into simulation. So we're going to head over to the NC Manager, right-hand mouse click, and we're going to select Simulate. We'll click OK. So here we're doing some open pocketing, which one CNC does a really great job of. So we're open pocket machining there, on that side, and also on that side. Now we're going to do some profiling. We'll do some circular pocket, counterbore, chamfer. Here's some engraving. Here's some machining and some rest machining as well, which one CNC also does a really good job at. We're going to rotate this around. Now we're going to face mill the other side, counterbore and chamfer. This simulates us taking the part out of the vise, machining the other side there, and that's it. It's very, very simple and straightforward. 